Hello, grade nine. Inshallah, in this video, we are going to explain lesson three, six, which is talking about proving theorems about perpendicular lines. In this lesson, we have theorems, which we are going to use it later on in the questions to prove that the two lines are perpendicular or when the two lines are perpendicular, what we have to uh, under, understand from this point. So the first theorem is 3.8. If two lines intersect to form a linear pair of congruent angles, then the lines are perpendicular. So this is the first theorem. When we look at the question, we will recognize that he said when two lines intersect, we know that we have different positions to for the lines to intersect but the lines can intersect like this the lines can intersect like this or like this all these shapes in front of us it it's intersecting lines but in this theorem, he said, if two lines intersect to form a linear pair of congruent angles, linear pair of congruent angles, which means already linear angles, their sum equal 180 degrees, then their sum together, it will be 180. And we said here the word congruent, which means each one of them, it will be equal 90 degrees. Then, in theorem 3.8, once we have two lines intersect to form linear pair of congruent angles, then the lines are perpendicular. Then, if angle 1 congruent with angle 2, and this will donate us to understand that both of them are congruent and the measure of each one of them equal 90, then D perpendicular to H. So this is was the first theorem, which is two lines intersect to form a pair of congruent angles, then the two lines are perpendicular. And we can note that the measure of angle one or the angle one congruent with angle two, then the two lines are perpendicular. Let's move to the next theorem. Theorem 3.9. If two lines are perpendicular, then they intersect to form four right angles, or perpendicular lines form four right angles. Then, when we have two lines intersect, and in this case, we started with the word what? We started with the word perpendicular. So we said from the beginning that they are perpendicular. And we said how many lines? And we said two lines. So once we have two lines, and those two lines are perpendicular, I'm not talking about any two intersecting line, but we are talking about a special case, which is two lines are perpendicular. Then we will recognize that we have four angles and what each one of them equal 90 degrees. So I have angle one, it will be equal 90 degrees, angle two, it will be 90 degrees, and this one equal 90 and the first one also equal 90 degrees. Then in the perpendicular lines, we said, don't forget this word, okay? Perpendicular lines form four right angle. And we can say that once we will see the perpendicular sign, then please remember, we can imagine that we have right angle okay so don't forget please 
from the sign of perpendicular, we recognize that we have four right, sorry, two right angles. If we will extend the line down like this, so we will find that we have four right angles. So this is theorem 3, 9. So theorem 3, 9 tell us when we have two perpendicular lines intersect, then they will form four right angles. Let's move to the next theorem. So we started 3, 8 and 3, 9, and now we will move to 3, 10. In this theorem, if two lines, two sides of two adjacent angles are perpendicular, then the angles are complementary. In this case, we want to determine here different points. Number one, if two, if two sides of two adjacent angles are perpendicular, remember, could you explain to me two adjacent angles in this figure in front of us? Two adjacent angles. So we can say angle A, D, B, angle A, D, B, and angle B, D, C. B, D, C. Those two angles are adjacent. Why? Because they have a common vertex and they have a common side and the common side lies between the other two sides. So we can say that the angle A, B, D and angle D, B, D, C are adjacent. The two right angles here, he said two sides of the two adjacent angles are perpendicular. Where is the sides of the first angle? So we can say that the side of the first angle is DA, ray, and the second one is DB ray, for the second DB ray, and DC ray. Already we note that we have a common side, which is DB and DB. Okay, so we have a common side. But I'm not talking about the common side now. I'm talking about the other two sides. So we can see that we have DA and DC. DA and DC. Look at the position of DA and DC. DA and DC are perpendicular. They form a right angle. Then they will be complementary. Then the angles are complementary. And we said the word complementary means their sum equal 90 degrees. Okay, then theorem 310 tell us that when we have two sides two sides of two adjacent angles are perpendicular, then the angles are complementary. And remember that the word complementary means equal 90 degree. And remember the sign which I give it to you in our class, that the word complementary, we can close this one, and then complementary means that their measure equal 90 degrees. So please don't forget this and don't confuse between complementary and supplementary angles. So this is three theorems, which is 3, 8, 3, 9, and 3, 10, which is talking about perpendicular lines. Then in front of you now, we have two angles, and those two angles are adjacent and the two sides in the two adjacent angles are perpendicular, which means the two angles A, D, B, and angle B, 
D, C, they should be complementary. Their sum should be equal 90 degrees. So this is was our first part in our lesson 3, 6. Hope that you understood and enjoy watching this video. Hope for you all the best.